What do you think? That's what you think, huh? Okay. She looks like she'd like to eat me for a snack. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Evolved on the Fjorder map. I'm an old guy, Gaming and in this episode, we are going to uh, finish our new barn build here that I've started, and then uh, get you updated on a couple things, and then after that, we might take um, the some of the Antrosarchuses out for a spin in the ocean. Uh, I did find, as you saw in the the opening montage there, a basil basilosaur 130. Um, way over to the east, and so we might go grab that because uh, I would like to have one. Um, or and or depending upon how time goes and whatnot, we might go do the artifact of the root cave. I think it is. It's which whatever whichever one is up in the, the redwoods that you guys have told me a few times to go do because it's supposed to be really good for loot runs. So again, we'll just kind of see how our time goes. Uh, so first of all, as you can see here, 
I have expanded uh, the barn quite a bit. I've widened the foundation from what it was before and have made it uh, quite a bit higher too. So that way we can put uh, the idea being, you know, putting some of the smaller critters uh, on the first balcony and then the flyers um, on the second balcony. Uh, we'll put maybe a behemoth gate. I, I don't remember how wide those are, so I'll have to take a look. In fact, we could probably do that right now uh, on the roof. But we also have a couple of uh, gates down here that can be used as well. Um, if you're wondering why this is this upper balcony is one tile higher than the other one, it's just because I'm planning on putting the Desmodus down here. And if you fly a Desmodus underneath a four high wall with a ceiling, it still wants to try and latch, which is a real big pain in the ass. So um, that's that's why that's not. Uh, you know, that's off by one block. That is intentional. Okay. Anyway, let's go. Uh, let's go actually make a behemoth gate hatch or a behemoth hatch, I guess. Uh, I want to see how wide it is because if it, if it works the way that I hope it will, then we'll just use that rather than putting the smaller ones in. We'll just make things easier. I believe I'm going to have to uh, learn that. Let's see. Behemoth sloped stone. No, we don't need sloped. S plus behemoth stone hatch frame. Um, we don't even really need stone either for that matter. Wood should be just fine. That's adobe. Behemoth metal. Oh, you know what? Maybe there isn't a wood version of that. Behemoth metal. Adobe. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We'll just do the stone version then. S plus behemoth reinforced trapdoor. That's the one I believe we want. Okay. All right, so let's make one of those. Actually, I'm just going to make the frame for now. Um, and just see what the dimensions are. I know it's pretty big, but I just don't remember exactly what those dimensions are on it. Uh, we're making quite a bit of progress, you know, with the breeding too. And... Um, I, I got animals all over the place, and I've been culling some of them, and I, I still have a little bit more organization to do with the animals out here that are kind of all over the place right now because I had to move them out of the way to do the barn. Uh, one thing I will show you is that I already have a pretty good set of leveled-up Rexes ready to go for boss fights, so we're probably going to go hit the B-Boss. Bela, I guess her name is, pretty quickly here. Uh, so all of these Rexes are leveled up, and, and I define leveled up as their health over 20,000 and their melee over 2,000. Um, that doesn't mean they, they still can't get a few more levels, but once they get to that point, I think they're leveled up well enough for us to, you know, to use. And then, so I have them in cryo just because, you know, having them out here take up space and they eat me out of house and home, you know, <laughs> with the, with the trough. Um, okay. So I'm not going to really give you a whole, uh, much of an update on the animals in this episode, because here again, I've, I still got a little more organization that I need to do with them other than to say that we do have a really neat mutation here on this Quetz. Uh, so we have, this Quetz has actually been mutated twice, I believe. Let's, uh, let's take a look at that. Uh, yeah, so it's got two mutations here. Um, the first one is the kind of neat greenish blue color on the neck, but that, but this one also now has some purple wings and its mutation was in melee. Um, if we look at it with this, you can see that its melee is 15, whereas everybody else's, I believe, is 13. Yeah, see, there's all these guys over here, guys and gals, have a melee of 13. So um, the Quetzes, I'm I'm just doing kind of for fun and, and for some utility, but I'm not as serious about them, I guess I'm trying to say, as I am about the, like, the Rexes and the Therese for boss fights and so forth. Uh, we got quite a few mutations going on with the Therizinos as well. But here again, they're just a big mess. And a lot of these theories that are over in this corner, I'm going to take out and probably eat, uh, add to the army. Um, and a lot of these guys out here are mutated. So like, for example, this one has a health mutation and a melee mutation, uh, as does this one here. So yeah, we're getting mutations on those. But again, uh, I'll go into a little more detail on where we're currently at with all the critters. Um, in a in another episode, uh, I also, as you can see, have two 
egg incubators now uh, put in place here in the in the barn and uh, so we're making good progress here all right anyway let's uh let's grab graphite here graphite is currently my my work rg and i've mostly been pumping um weight into her so she can carry around you know the dodix and the ankies for getting stone and all that kind of thing um, so what I want to do here, let's just park you right here. Let's see what's, how wide is this frame? Okay, so it does, it goes one tile beyond our opening here. So that's going to kind of screw me up then. For what I had in mind for the roof. Hmm. I mean, we could s still make this work, but it would just, it would be offset a little bit. Is this a, is this a, a square? Yeah, I think it is. All right. Um, in order for that to work the way that I would want it to, I would, and, and you know, have it be centered. I would need to move either the front wall out a tile. Well, that's really probably my only option because if I go out this way, then we're going to hang over the side of the cliff, which will look kind of stupid. All right. Well, I don't have to decide that right this moment. Um, well, actually, I kind of do, though, because... If I'm going to move it, I want to move it now before I do any more building. Um, we could probably afford to go one more row that direction and definitely could afford to do it in that direction. Okay. Yeah, I think, I mean, if we're going to do it, let's do it right, you know, kind of thing. So, uh, let's go ahead and throw all this stuff in here for the moment. Oh, I got these cool gilly leggings and a drop earlier. Uh, I have several foundations here. And so we're basically going to pull everything out another tile. Uh, and I, I want this walkway out in front just because I think it looks cool. So let's start laying these down here. And we're going to have to move a couple of you out of the way. Come on over here, little one. We are on pickup, so we'll get that gate picked up. That. Uh, oh, those are damaged. Okay. We had a wild RG fly in here earlier. So, let's see. Do we have a repair option here? Pick up, demolish. Uh, repair. Okay. I guess it's, uh, I guess it's pulling from, from our case. It, it doesn't, like, magically repair by itself, does it? I don't know, because I don't have any of the materials in my inventory like I would normally have to do. Let's go back to structure. Now we can pick these up. Um, I did go into the game settings any file too on the server and changed it so that I can pick stuff up without needing to use that builder's helmet. Um, yeah, so, I, so that, uh, because if, without doing that, the, this S plus gun doesn't work for that sort of thing. All right, so now what we're going to do is... Um, all right, here. Let's get Denonicus out of the way here. Ooh, we're heavy. Inventory is too heavy to jump, yet it jumps anyways. <laughs> Okay. I'm not complaining, but just confused. Um, all right, so 
basically, we got to pull all of this stuff forward. Um, and that's fine, too. That makes our barn even just a little bit bigger. So I guess... Yeah, these ceilings might collapse if we do that uh, without uh, moving them first. So I think what we'll do is pick up the ceilings. Didn't need to pick that one up. Okay, well, we lost our gate there. Pick that up, pick these up. Do we have stuff in here? Yeah, we got a bunch of shit in there. You know what, though? I've got fertilizer, like, coming, literally coming out my ears. Well, not literally, but you know what I mean. Well, let's get these eggs out of here. That'd be pretty odd to have fertilizer literally coming out of your ears. Just gonna throw that out there. Um, I don't care about the poop. Um, okay, whatever. Let's just pick it up this way. Oh, I guess we did pick it up. Okay. So that, that poop... See, it's stinky. Uh, that poop can just disappear. Uh, let's grab all the eggs out of here and put them into the Argentavis. I'm sure you can hold that stuff too. It's pretty heavy. Give you the gate as well. Um, and then, let's see, we still have... Uh, and I did, by the way, I toned down the egg laying too. It was just, it's just crazy. I've got so many eggs. It's ridiculous. Um, I think I just set it to the default multiplier of one. Pick up egg collector. Okay. So I think it's that out of the way. Now... What we want to do is grab, can't, no, not demolish, pick up. Yeah, these are, these are big, like 12 high walls here. We want to make sure that's placed correctly. Meaning you, you want it like right, pretty much right on the seam. If, if sometimes it'll want to go over onto this foundation or on this one instead. And then that, you know, makes everything later on kind of screwed up. And that's going to... See, now that messes up our windows, uh, our evenly spaced windows. But, you know, I got a double wall thingy going on here, too. I think we're just gonna. Yeah, I, I don't care. I'm gonna leave it that way. It's just the way it is. It's just because of the placement of the behemoth gate that it's gonna be. It's gonna be off somewhere. Put it that way. It's just the way it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we'll deal with it. Um, you know what though? We can. Since we are gonna do a double, we can put another tall wall in. here here so you don't have any tall walls on you so we'll have to make one excellent now we need to get these wooden ones pulled down hopefully without messing anything up the only thing I'm going to do is let's put graphite over there. I want to grab a bat because then I can hover. Okay, now I just need to get these these upper pieces and then I can probably get the rest of them from down below. Now we just put the windows in place and making sure they're set correctly and not sticking out the wrong way. 
Okay, and then we need... Yeah, we need three walls going up. Here, one, two, three. Uh, oh, I need to do another section here too, don't I? That's right, okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, good. Now we can put the gates back in. That there. Now we can't put the the second one on until we get the ceiling pieces in place. You go this way. Go that way. And that way. All right, I want the close delay on you to be five seconds. Beautiful. Okay, now I think we put four high walls back in and then more ceilings in the upper area. What do you think? That's what you think, huh? Okay. She looks like she'd like to eat me for a snack, but the uh, the laws of the Ark don't let her do it because she's been subjected. Sucks to be her. Okay, anyway. Let's get... Here, let's just use granite here, or whatever your name is. Graphite. Excellent. Okay, so we're basically back to where we start of the episode from um so what i'm gonna do then is yeah that behemoth gate should fit right in the center so we just need to get these walls in which means we're gonna need 14 windows i think and 28 more wooden walls all right, let me get that going, and then I'll bring you guys back when we're... Uh, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those in, and I'm going to also put the frame of the roof in, and then I'll bring you guys back when I'm ready to put the behemoth gate in. All right, guys, we are back, and we're just about finished here with the roof. If you're wondering why uh, I'm bloody looking in, uh, there's a heartbeat sound. It's because it sort of kind of fell off. <laughs> hate it when that happens. Okay, so the hatch should fit, whoops, right in here. Uh, do you have the hatch? I left the hatch down below. Can't take me anywhere. That fits in there beautifully, and then the uh, door, trap door. Um, yeah, actually, I think that's the way that I want it. Okay, now, the other thing I'm going to do here is I want you to set close delay. Set on a five-second delay. And, well, okay, we could do one of two things. We could either put some rails around this. Or we could set it to auto-close only. The, that way we can just walk across it without accidentally falling through. <clears throat> it just means we'll have to... Yeah, I think that's probably the, the better option there. It just means we'll have to activate it when we're on a flyer, but that's not a big deal. But I just I wanted to do the behemoth trapdoor instead of the the normal just because you know it's so much larger and easier to fit everybody through. Okay, cool. So um, the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to latch. Okay, is there a way to disable that latching available? 
So even with it being... that high it's oh shit that's gonna hurt uh it still wants to latch hmm okay let's look at something uh behavior options export and claim okay i don't see anything there um behavior uh, wandering man uh mating target conscious whistles yeah, I don't see an option for, for turning that off. All right, let's go suck down a couple medical brews. Okay, so I made a bunch of rails here. And we're going to put those in place next so we don't accidentally fall off because we've seen that when that happens it hurts okay nice we got the rails in place next thing we're going to do is we're going to make an elevator system for getting to these upper floors from the ground um and i I learned the wood elevator Ingram because that's new to me. Um, when I was in Arc two and a half years ago, there were were no such thing. Was no such thing as a wood elevator. So I thought I'd try it, see what it looks like, and see if it's cool. Um, so let's see. We want to go to elevator, and I learned the small platform. We'll see if that is adequate. Because we're not going to be taking any large animals up on the balcony anyways. Probably the biggest thing that we could potentially take up there is an Androsarchus. Um, so here, let's do this. Let's make one of these. I just want to see how big it is. Oh yeah, that should be big enough to take an Androsarchus up if we have to. Okay. Uh, all right, so now we're going to want the elevator top switch. Do we need one attached to the top of a wood elevator track to complete an elevator? So what about the bottom, though? I don't know. Guess we'll figure it out. We'll grab that. And then I don't know how many of these we're going to need. Let's uh, make 10 to start with. And then if we need to make more, we need to make more. Okay, so I think I want the elevator to be right next to the door. And I actually want to move you further out. We'll just put you right here. Okay. So let's get the uprights. Uh, I don't know which direction is which. Can I embed you in the wall? I can. I don't know if that'll work though. Okay, can we put this in place? Mm -mm. Can't place. Oh, no snap point. Oh, okay, so it doesn't want to go. So why doesn't that snap to the bottom of the foundation then? That's weird. Is 
It's like sinking into the foundation. All right, well, if we, if we put that on there, can we still get it to go down lower? Pick up wood elevator platform. No, I don't want that to happen. Okay, so this says attached to the top of a wood elevator track to complete an elevator. Hmm. Okay, well, then let's do this. Okay, what happens if we put this on now? I have that I have that turned around the wrong way, don't I? Because I can't like rotate it or anything. All right, let's um pick these back up. Well, I mean the other thing I guess I can do is hold it out like that, but then it's gonna stick then it's gonna stick way out though, is the thing. Come on, get in there. Okay, now if we stuck this up here. to release platform. Ah, so it uses gravity to go back down. Interesting. Okay, but okay, so if I want to go But if I want to go up and I'm and this is all the way at the top and I'm all the way at the bottom, how the hell does that work? All right, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to mess with this a little bit and see if I can figure it out, and I'll bring you guys back in just a little bit. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, This thing's a piece of shit. <laughs> I, I, first, first of all, I can't get the track to be flush with the foundation. It either floats up in the air like this, which means that if that's the way we had to do it, we'd have to, I don't know, build a ramp or something up there to get to it. That just doesn't make sense. Um, but there's just no way that I can tell to get this to go flush. It either goes there or it sinks into the thing. When it sinks into the thing, then when the elevator uh, platform comes down, it bury it, you know, it glitches into or clips into the floor. That's problem number one. Problem number two is I don't know how in the hell you get this to go up. So if we have this mechanism all the way at the top and this is all the way at the bottom, how do we how do we get it to lift up? I, I don't get that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and then there's a, the third thing I don't like about this is that it only goes up one section per click. So you have to hit that once. Got to hit it again. Got to hit it again and so on so it's not like just pressing a, a button once and then having it go all the way up which is you know I, I guess they're simulating you having to hand crank it which you know I'm okay with that I suppose it, it kind of makes sense if it's more of a prim more primitive but just the whole the whole thing is just it's terrible <laughs> but the the biggest problem with it unless I'm missing something very obvious is you know, I can hold this to release it, right? And then it goes down. But how do I get it to go back up? Especially if that thing is like way the hell up at the top of the the deal there. I supposed to keep doing that? I don't know. So, yeah, I think we're going to scratch this and just go with a normal elevator. I mean, we got power in here anyways, and we can afford it. I just thought I would try this 
wooden elevator because I'd never messed with it before, but I, I gotta tell you, I'm not impressed. Now, if I'm, um, if there's something important that I'm missing here, let me know. I mean, I don't know, do we, do we put one of those cranker things down at the bottom here too? Is that why? Hmm. Maybe that's why, um, it's offset like that. All right, let's go make another cranker thing and see if that's what the deal is. So can we put this? Yeah, see, you can't you can't attach this down at the bottom either. I I completely don't get it. How in the hell is something like this useful if you can't lift you know from the bottom up to the top? That's my question. What am I missing here? Let me know in the comments, but for now we're going with a normal elevator because this thing's a piece of shit as far as I can tell. And then does this go here? Yep, there we go. Okay. Okay, so that's as high up as we can go for the moment. Yeah, so we just have to hit the platform itself to go up. So I think, based upon this, we're probably going to need two more upright pieces to get to the top thingy. Okay. Yeah, this works way better than the stupid uh, wooden one. <laughs> like I said, I just don't get that one, man. I don't know what... What I was doing wrong. So let's go make two more uprights. Okay, so let's put that one on and that one on. And now we should go all the way up to the top. And a little higher, like it always does, for some weird, weird reason. Okay, so that takes care of the elevator situation and let's put the control thingy just on the wall here I guess okay so call elevator Elevator call. Nice. Um, probably should put some rails. Oh, see, now that, that makes it go flush with the floor when you use the, the switch. How interesting. Okay. I mean, ideally we should put some rails here. But, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to think about that uh, later on. Oh, you know what? We need we need three of these. <laughs> I guess we need to be able to call it from the middle floor, too. Right. Right. Okay. So if we call it from here... Uh... What the hell? Elevator called. Um... Okay, do I have to hit it twice? One, two. There. Okay, yeah, you got to double tap it. That's what it is. Okay. It's not uh, It's not obvious, though, <laughs> that that's what you're supposed to do. Um, very good. Okay, guys. So, let's see. It's going to be kind of dark. Well, I guess it's not terribly dark in here. We got this light. Uh, I'm going to put some more lighting in here, too. Uh, but I think that pretty much concludes... Um, the build out of our of our barn here. It's looking pretty good. Like I said, I'll get some more lighting in here and that sort of thing. And then I'm gonna I'm probably gonna build some stalls, you know, for the critters. Get that done, but I'll do all that kind of stuff off camera. Um and then we'll go from there. I need to make another yeah, I need to go make another one of the call thingies. Two. So, um, yeah, I think we're probably out of time. It's just, it took a little bit 
you know, a little bit more time to do all this than I was anticipating. So I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. And then in the next episode, we'll go out and do something fun. Uh, probably hit that cave um, up in the northeast that has, I think it's the artifact of the brute or the strong. I can't remember. No, no, we've already done the brute. So artifact of the strong, I think. Um, and that's the tentative plan for the next episode. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. See ya. Bye.